Yo, what's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can actually make the best ripple shockwave effect in both DaVinci, Resolve, and Adobe After Effects. Quickly before the video starts, I just want to say that over 60% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel so make sure to drop a sub. It is 100% free for you guys to do and you can change your mind at a later date. Also be sure to drop a like and comment, give me some feedback down below on what you want to see in the channel in the future in terms of tutorials, future content, and that kind of stuff. I just want to say that I'm going to be releasing my ident template once we hit 10k followers on Twitter so make sure to check that out. That'll be the first link in the description. I'll put the add in up on the screen right now With that being said i hope you guys do enjoy the video i'm going to be going over the effect in both davinci resolve and after effects the presets and the plugins will be down below in the description as usual i hope you guys do enjoy the video and i'll see you guys inside of davinci resolve all right guys so i'm in a brand new davinci resolve project and the first thing we want to do is just make sure that we have our settings set to 1920 by 1080 60 fps all right so after that what we're going to do we're just going to drag in our song and then we're going to trim it down to the part we want to use i'm going to use tiger by 637 godwin uh because i use it in one of my highlights videos and i really like the song so we're just gonna trim it down right here and we're just going to add a marker to the beat right here and then maybe just trim it right after because i'm only going to show you how to do one clip because that's all that's needed for this effect and we're just going to drag it down an audio track just like this i'm going to turn the volume up just a tiny bit and then we're just going to actually select our clip right here we're going to uh find the portion we want to use just by pressing these arrow buttons right here select the part after and then we're just going to actually line up the kill with the marker just like this perfect drag it out on the left drag it out on the right and then we're just going to add velocity like uh, we normally do so we're just going to right click and unlink it go to read time controls add a speed point right here add a speed point right here go to the middle add a speed point oh. add a speed point right here 50 percent on this 200 percent on this 50% on this and then we're just going to go back to the marker right here and line it up just like that and then we're just going to trim it down on the right side trim this down on the right side and that should be perfectly good all right all the stuff to do now we're just going to drag this up right here minimize that a bit and then we're just going to uh, actually drag an adjustment clip starting at the kill and ending at the very end of the clip just like this just trim it down just like that and we're going to go into the fusion tab we're going to find the preset that we saved and we're going to actually drag that in just like this and we'll see the bcc ripple you'll need the bcc plugins for this so make sure you download that that will be in the description for davinci resolve and we're just going to select it press shift on our keyboard and drag it in just like this and we'll see that it actually is perfectly good just like this it is already on the screen we're going to keyframe the very beginning the radius at 400 and we're going to keyframe the inside radius at 250 and then we're going to go about 30 to 40 frames after so i normally do 40 because it's a bit slower and we're actually just going to change this to 1200 and we're going to change the other one to 1200 just like that and that should be good it makes the ripple go completely away like you can see just like this and we can see that what it does i'll quickly show you it just does a nice little ripple effect and i'm not able to actually fully play it back right now because it is pretty laggy right now but trust me it's super clean it works 100 percent of the way and then if you want your slow-mo to be a lot smoother you can just select the clip go to read time process change it to optical flow and then from there you can just add you know your build up you can add your you know your pre-shake your vignette your magic bullet looks just to actually make it a more drawn out effect and then if you also want to you can add your impact so you can just drag in whatever impact you want to use so for me i usually use one of these right here i'll grab one from this folder and i'll look up joshy hard impact what that will do is it will just be a nice little shake we'll connect it to the left side drag this to the right and connect this on the right side and just like that it should be a super clean impact with the actual shakes the flickers and all that stuff and uh, yeah that's all that you need to do for this actual effect the preset will be down below in the description as well as the plugins if you want to check that out as well as the tutorial on how to install the plugins for davinci resolve but i hope you guys did enjoy the davinci resolve portion and i'm going to be moving on to the after effects portion so i'll see you guys there all right guys so i'm in a brand new after effects project 1920 by 1080 as usual uh, the first thing you want to do is just make sure you have your clip and your song in the top left right here we're just going to drag in the song just like this and I'm actually just going to trim it down to the portion that I want to use. I'm using the song Tiger by 637 Godwin. Super good song. And I'm actually just going to find the beat I want to use. So it's going to be this one right here. 
and then I'll just trim it down on the left side by uh, or on the right side by pressing Control Shift D. We're going to actually put our playback head on the beat. We're going to double click on our clip up here. We're just going to find the portion we want to use by pressing, you know, these arrow thingies on either side, just like this. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to drag our clip on over and we're going to actually line it up with the beat on the song just like this and drag it on the left drag it on the right then what we're going to do is we're just going to come up here to animation apply animation preset and you're just going to find the velocity preset i'll have in the description just like i normally do it's just my uh, normal free velocity preset that i always give out in all my tutorials and i do have a lot better velocity presets in my edit pack if you want to check that out as well for the low price of 15 dollars just going to line up the second last keyframe with the uh, the marker right here and that'll just add velocity just like that. Perfect. And all we got to do from here to actually add the effect is press Control Y on our keyboard while selecting this layer. Press Control Shift D to trim it down. Go to the right side and trim it down just like that. And then we're going to just go up to animation, apply animation preset. We're going to navigate to where we actually have saved this. And we're just going to add the preset just like this. Make sure you have the BCC plugins installed. I have that in the description as well as the tutorial on how to actually install that down below as well. Right here we can see the keyframes are the way that they are and it should just do a nice little shockwave ripple effect just like this and just like that i do have a 40 frame fall off so if you want to bring that in a bit more so you can just drag it in just like that 100 percent up to you make it a bit faster Yeah, that's how you actually do that uh, the settings are up here if you want to copy them down and then these are the end settings right here if you want to copy them as well but uh yeah i hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial uh, I am going to have the presets for these in the description if you want to check these out. Uh, there, it's going to be 100% free. You guys don't have to pay for anything. But if you want to actually get any of the impact presets that I'm about to show you or the velocity, make sure to check that out. Uh, you can just add, you know, like a nice little impact. So for me, I'll just come up here to wherever I have my impact saved to. So I'm just going to run my presets, my impacts. And then, you know, I'll add like this pink glow. Then I can add like something like a bare bones impact, which I'll have. I have that in my previous video if you want to check that out. And you know, that adds like a nice little ripple effect to this actual uh, impact. And it looks super clean. We got a shake, a flicker, a nice little pink glow. But yeah, it really ties everything in together. You just toss your eye in on that. And it is looking like a super clean highlights video. I hope you guys did enjoy this though. Make sure to give me some feedback down below as to what you want to see on the channel in the future. I'm looking to do a lot more individual effect tutorials. So make sure to leave down below some ideas that you want to see on the channel in the future. I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter for my ident giveaway at 10,000 followers on there. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.